Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back here to Scotland for the Lean to Succeed Scottish International Open at the West Lothian Indoor Bowls Club, where we have another fantastic game for you here now on the stream. Paul Foster, MBE, is taking on the Australian Wizkid, Connor Biddle. That's how what we have a look for the rest of today. Then seven o'clock this evening will be Greg Harlow. He takes on the qualifier from last night, John McCutchinson. We're now going to go live to the rink and start at the very first end. Hey, hey up! Here comes the Jack. Oh, oh! Jamie Walker's driving this car. <laughs> Dear me! <laughs> Well, that was <laughs> that was really funny. Uh, each session we've had a, a guest driver. This one was uh, world champion Jamie Walker. <laughs> Joining me in the commentary box all the way, also from Australia, Blake Nairn. Afternoon, Blake. Yeah, good mate. Yourself? Yeah, very well. Thanks so much. That was uh, that was pretty good. <laughs> I, I love the little car. The little car is brilliant. Oh dear me. <laughs> you always need a bit of a laugh in bowls. So, interesting game. Paul Foster, MBE, one of the most decorated players, especially on our World Bowls Tour here, but not just here. Popular name worldwide. And uh, young Connor, well, I'm going to let you explain all about Connor since you've travelled over together. Yeah, no, he's a... He's, I think he's 27. He's been bowling since he was seven. Been bowling for quite some time uh, from the Aussie Park Bowling Club. Um, he's just a good, good all-around fella. Um, been leading in their top side for the last couple of years, trying to get his get his draw, get his delivery right, um, and then he won his way through to to this lovely event. They uh, Dreamline XGs. Is he playing with Dreamline XGs? Um, I messaged a few few blokes I I know over this way, and they said the the green's pretty comfortable, good draw, good pace. So I thought um, I'll bring Dreamline XGs, and Connor decided to bring Dreamlines as well. Oh, okay. Fair start by Paul. We don't get, especially on the tour, we, we in, the, in this hemisphere, we don't get a lot of not just the XGs but the Dreamline. I think, I think Jason Greenslade is probably one of the most noticed players on the tour that has previously used uh, the Dreamline model. He's got an older set, which turn a little bit more than what these ones will. Okay. Whoa, what a reply. Connor's had a, a, a fair few roll-ups on this ring, so he should be should be quite tuned to it. And of course, anybody tuning in from Australia to support Connor, a very good well, a good morning there now. Is it three o'clock in the morning, is it? I hmm? think it's no? 12, midnight, 12, midnight, 12, close to midnight. Wow, yeah. Yeah, no, I know there's a there's a fair few Aussies awake at the moment having a look. So, um, Aussie Park are, are very good for supporting their players. Good. Um, it's a very nurturing club, which is always good. Well, Connor's got a bit of a spring in his step early, which is always a good sign. Let's have a little quick look. The young man, so he's dashing down there. Some nice comments coming through. If you need a question answered or you want Blake to 
answer one of the questions. We're looking at the Facebook tube. Facebook tube. That's a Facebook new side. Right? Facebook channel. Uh, pop your comments <laughs> down there on the Facebook tube. That's the new, the new one that I'm starting. I don't think Paul will be uh, short here for some reason. He's never afraid to to play up, Paul. Is he? You know, nah. backs his confidence and his ability. You know, just. To I've seen him a fair few times in the UBC and the the world the world bowls, and he's a he's a, he's a pretty ripping fella. He's tried to just a bit forward. Would be a good nerve settler for Connor picking yep. up the first end. Yeah, you want to always get that first point under your belt. Just want to save the undies early, eh? What was that? Save the underwear early, get on the board. That's oh, what you call it. Yeah, you don't want to drop your dax if you get to zero. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Funny feeling I'm going to learn some new uh, terminology during this game. You don't want to drop your dax early. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tickle me that one. So, nice choice of length, three quarter length, Jack. Jack length, 28 metres. Let's score 1 0 to Connor Biddle. Yeah, good start again. The purpley. The purpley yeah, they're, really. they're a lovely uh, purple. Purple with green speckles. Uh, Connor's a bit of a character. He loves uh, loves wearing random socks. So if you get a chance to have a look at his feet. Lovely. I played. Paul playing with his tie again. Well, that is a... Oh, yeah, look. Oh, dear. Hey. He loves a fancy sock, Connor. Couldn't find a pair, no? I'm not sure. Yeah. Maybe lost one on the flight here for the long 20 hours. <laughs> well, just needs to bend. Here it comes now. What is it? Oh. So they're an ungrip bowl, are they? Look at the yeah. Yes, a lot of a lot of WA players normally play with un ungripped because of the weather conditions. Is it wind oh, or? Not really sure. No? I think it's just a we have a, two options: gripped or non-gripped. So people normally just whatever feels comfortable in the hand. I, I personally play with a non-gripped bowl just because they sit a little bit nicer. Okay. But yeah. Right, he's searching for this uh, line again down here. Can it be just slightly up? Just mm. not getting back. Then pokers. Oh, I'll just draw down to that little ledge. Touch on the jacks, a bonus. Good shot played. by Paul. Very well played. Again, just struggling getting back with that weak bolt. <coughs> with just the weight letting him down mm. a little bit. I think with the, the narrow bowls, you kind of need to have perfect weight for him to, to get back to the jack. Not like the, the wide bowls where they'll get back all, all day long. Oh, well, just needs to get up to the split. Just going to go underneath. It's still a pair for Paul. The indoor surfaces here is the surface itself slightly different from the holes. Oh, in WA we don't have any wood based carpets. Most of ours are all uh, concrete based. Um, but the speed and how much it turns is 
similar to a lot of carpets we have. Okay. Just uh, just the creaking of the floorboards underneath are a little bit <laughs> a little bit different. <laughs> or if you don't quite get the bowl out, silky, you can hear a thud. Yes, yeah, it makes uh, it's very. Uh, <laughs> very amplified especially you know all uh, potters as you know with all the the atmospheric microphones that are around the green sometimes it sounds makes your delivery sound a lot worse than what it actually is yes well, so i think i get the bowl away pretty meters. smooth and even i make a thud i'm like oh am i really that bad <laughs> we'll let you know <laughs> <laughs> let's start again paul's uh, found his range pretty early Someone's asking, do you play short mat in Australia as well, or is it just a flat green? Do you have short mat out there? No, that's no? the one you play inside, isn't it? It's that little small one, I think no. it's about 12 metres long, with a piece of wood in the middle. No, oh. we, we don't play much of that in WA. Oh. I did go over to Victoria for a little bit of a stint, and they do play a lot of that over there. Do they? Okay. So, I've seen Matty Flapper plays it at his club. Don't forget we have got three other games going on on the outer rinks. We'll uh, keep you updated with those scores as this first set progresses, maybe around about the 5M mark. It's quite a nice setup here. Yep. It's a lovely little club. A lot of a lot of lovely people. Yeah, certainly is. Very friendly to Scottish. Oh, well played. What a lovely show here. Just need perfect weight with the tight bowls, and they'll, they will give a little bit for you. That's uh, that's how good the carpet's running. Paul just asking there. Can I just have a quick look at that? It's Marcus' discretion. There's no shot clock in this uh, event, don't forget. I think looking at that uh, that head, I think that's uh, acceptable. I've never seen a marker knock someone back. Because it is it is important, this game. Like you've qualified in your in your state or your, your country to come this far, you might as well uh, have a little, little bit of a look-see sometimes. Fair draw if he draws this. My ball is in front of Jack Oh, there Whoop. you go. Well, this ball has actually finished very well now. That angle's changed completely. Kind of sprinting down. A bit of energy, doesn't he? I know, yeah. release the jack he's sticking with the Just dead draw to, yeah I thought he might have been a little bit more aggressive towards it maybe thinking early just trying to get his draw what a fair oh. effort here <laughs> I have you surrounded <laughs> I have a feeling Connor probably won't play it <laughs> he's even run down for his bowl look very well trained in Australia I thought he was going to grab them. Oh, yeah. He's tidying up as well. Good boy. Good boy. I thought he was about to take the mat Let's up. Let's go 2 end. 2 after 3 ends. Just having a quick look and give you some idea what's team. going on on the other rinks. We've got Jason Greenslade. He's taking on Lloyd Sabatini, PBA qualifier from the Bromley venue. Jason is 2 1 up after 2 ends. 
Nicky Brett. Well, he's come out the traps very, very quick. He's playing Scotty Mazzoni from uh, the USA. Nicky is 5 3 up. Um, sorry, 5 0 up after three ends. And Jason Banks, oof, after a right flyer, he's playing Dylan Jacobs from Canada. And Jason Banks is 8 0 after three. That's a fair start. Hmm. Back length, 27 metres. Which club are you in the WA? Which club? Me. I'm from uh, the Cambridge Bowling Club. Cambridge, there you go, Vic. Near, uh, near Perth City. Near the city. Wait again. Well played. Oh, brilliant ball. That was a cracking ball. Makes that a good three. A little bit of pressure here for Paul. Here it comes, look at the ball. Oh, it's just going to get to the back, back side of it. Oh. You've been practicing here, isn't it? for a little bit of a protection maybe I think so yeah, yeah. I don't think it's gonna be short I mean it's one of those things that you, you, you even if you draw to the back bowl make sure you counter for anything just slightly away from that you're gonna finish good aren't you yeah nothing for short this if end you, here at short, all. you you haven't really concentrated too much what can Paul produce here All on the pace. It's looking all right. All on the pace. It's a fair crack. Stays up. Mike Davies is already looking at his watch. Yeah, it's giving it to Paul. Great ball. A big ball, really, wasn't it? Because it was a good three there for Connor. It's a, it's a good nerve settler when you when you three down in your draw shot. It certainly is. That's why he's one of the best in Scotland. You played Darren, do you? Is Darren yeah, play I played play Darren Burnett. Yep. Could be a good game. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> You're on the far end ring, is it? Seven? Yeah. No, the four, as we call it. Yep. On the far one. Seems like a pretty, pretty good length, ring to play on. 25 metres. Yeah, a lot of people say it's a good ring. So it's score 3 2 after 4 I don't ends. think there's a bad one here. view of the lawn bowl. 
the hence light tigers. Just hold up a little bit. See how much the Tigers are turning. Yeah, a lot, aren't they? They're, Big they're, they're, they're coming out from the peg. We tend not to use too many wide bowls in, in Australia because the greens are normally upwards of 16, 17, 18 seconds and normally the greens turn a lot. So we kind of get... Oh, lucky. Oh, lucky twice. Yeah, we, we don't use many Tigers or Classic 2s or Aces or anything. We normally the the, the tighter, tighter kind of bowls because it's quite windy in Perth and Australia in general. It was unlucky there. You could just see he was just trying to play that forehand just to add another shot. Whether he just caught his front bowl or missed the jack would have been absolutely perfect. Got the only bad result really that he could have got. Still a really great head of bowls. Four bowls all on a dustbin lid. That's a pretty good set. Oh, I thought I was going to give it away then. Forehand still down into that little split would be good. It looks like a pretty gentle shot. You're up there with a couple of feet. Just a little pop. Any connection on, on that shot ball surely must uh, spring that jack just nipped it not sure how much it they they do turn quite quite good with a bit of weight Paul do? I think he has to play one just slightly to this, to this left hand side no? I think he covers a little bit because if he pops the jack out to the re-spot he could be coupled down yep off he goes well Connor won't be short there's a few different little uh, little connections Well, how's your look? Looks like something's happening. Oh, oh my goodness. Hear me, that is dreadfully unlucky. <laughs> I think he hit every ball by the one he wanted to hit, I think. You got a bit of everything, just not enough of something. So another single for Paul Foster. I don't think Connor will be too worried. He's throwing him in the area. Yeah, it's not like he's playing bad, is it? No, he's got him in the area. Sometimes it only takes one. Ooh. Is it short? No. Just I gone think, over. Uh, someone might have moved right, in the eye line of meters. Mr. Foster. Set score 4 2 after 5 ends. There is yes, a it's busy club, isn't it? There is a decent sized crowd, so you're going to get a bit of movement. You're going to get people walking around. Just got to brush it off, really. Yes, you can't expect everybody just to. It's the nature of the beast. You've yeah. got people watching, you're going to have movement. There's so much going on as well. It's slightly different than having just that the one portable rink where everyone's just watching the same game. You know, there's lots of stuff going on at the back. Trade stands and things here as well. So. You've got people playing on the other rinks as well. 
Plus, don't forget, you get the hospitality, the, uh, the free alcoholic drinks. Oh, so that's always a good one. <laughs> Got to keep the spectator, spectators well lubricated. <laughs> Both boys getting their line. Quite nice. It's lacking two or three feet, that's all. Oh, I'll try and just add the pressure on. Bit of a shortish length too. The first few ends we've we've had fairly long ones. Going to be in trouble. Bit of a naughty one. Oh, I'll just play down this blind side and add another. Don't make the head any bigger for Connor to play anything different. It's the worst thing you can do is drop short balls. Because these these top line bowlers, they'll make you make you pay for it. I mean he just needs to add a, a yard really. We'll be looking to get Second shot at least. It just sits that bat ball very close. Now, what's the pace like? Needs to settle. Overcorrected, Needs I think. Needs to settle. They've nailed the line with all of them. Three. Three. Seven shots to two. Now, going into the last three ends of this first set. Jason Banks has won the first set against Dylan Jacobs from Canada. Nicky Brett is 12 nil up against Scotty Marzoni from the USA that's up to six ends 24 24 Lloyd Sabatini is 5-2 up against Jason Greenslade from Guernsey now and that's up to five ends back length 24 metres 24 metre chapters. All stronger balls really, really working for him on this shorter length. It's his normal go to at Potters as well, to be fair. Matt, you know, the Matt back, Jack Short. Got to be consistent to get that Jack. I mean, when you play Matt back, Jack Short, it's very, very difficult to get, keep nailing that 24 metres. You bring the mat up, you've still got them, that three metre spare, haven't you, at the back of the ring where just land the Jack in that. People don't practice a jack enough. No, I say that. I, as well. I don't find like to like you could be horrendous on a long one, and you you want to change a length, and then they'll either drop it short or they'll overplay it. So well, I find a jack roll quite important for for yourself in singles or a lead in a team to get a length that you you can control. in the general area if you reach. Thank you, John Fleming. Jason has very good taste in commentary selection. <laughs> it's a fair bowl. That's an absolute corker. It's a yeah. honker. 
wouldn't say no to one of those. Well, he's sticking with this just slightly up shot. He's having a nibble. Might get contact. Ooh, that's a bad one there. I was fortunate enough to meet John Fleming and Blair Davies over in Dandenong, oh, Victoria. Yeah. yeah, they went out there, didn't they? They had a bit of an adventure out that way. Sure, it would have been an adventure, yeah. Yeah, it was good. I too had a little adventure over in Melbourne. Played their Premier League, Queensland Premier League and New South Wales Premier League. Which was a bit of fun. 12 months of bowls. It was good. Improved my game a bit. What would you play here, Blake? Would you take a chance? Get that uh, out, outside edge of the jack? You, you've got to try something. You're either trying to get yours through and hopefully it rattles between a couple of yours. Very controlled. So maybe there might be a nice little, if it could get through, maybe. Depends how he gets it. Oh. Oh, not quite enough. Another three for Paul. 10 2 now on the uh, going into the eighth end. So Paul just needs to win. And uh, Connor needs two full houses. It's difficult. I think Connor will just be trying to get his draw back for the second set. Yeah, I mean, if you can win this end, get a four, you know, try and stretch the set out. That's what you kind of do. Just trying to play yourself into it, don't you? Yeah, Thanks. try to get an extra couple of balls. Just needs to get the jack back, I think. Don't get on that longer length. It all depends on your setup. If you don't really have a setup to make a four, sometimes you're better off just drawing. Just, just, just bite the bullet and just draw it out, lose the set, but you keep your draw going into the next one. Jack length, 24 and a half metres. Set score, 10 2 after seven ends. Well, Paul's definitely come out to play today. <laughs> well, he's, he's found it found it pretty quickly. He's borrowed that remote control for the car. <laughs> I think his uh, bowls turned more than the the car itself. to hold up. I'm just wondering at what point Connor may just change his game plan a little bit. I think you'll, the first couple of ends of the second set, you've got to assess how you're going and if you're, you're struggling a little bit, you've got to try something. Has he, got, has he got the heavy drive? What's his normal game? Does he play that heavy drive or is he more conservative as he what we're seeing He kind of has now? like a little nibbly shot. Okay. Not really big. He does have a big one in his arsenal. Um, oh, my goodness. But, oh, he's been a bit stiff a couple of ends. But it does open up a shot for a four, which is, it is a plus. It's got Paul yeah, thinking. Going for a bit of cover. Might not have gone far enough. You say he wants to pass this ball, doesn't he? Wants to pass it. There's still a chance for a four here. Needs it on the very far pin, doesn't he? Right on the very rink marker. I'd love for him to get it to an extra end, just for confidence sake. It's got to be in the area, eh? It's close. Oh, just hung. Just hold. Hung. Two balls away. Fair crack. Stops him for shot, but that's not going to be enough. 
And that's going to be the first set to Paul Foster. Ten shots to three. I mean, Connor's playing some really good balls, to be fair, but Paul Foster's just relentless at the moment. He's, he's put them on a, on a mat. Makes it, makes it hard for your opposition. Connor quite hasn't got a couple of results. That could have gone his way, but hasn't quite got it. We're looking for a big, big second set from Connor. Connor's been a, a very steady Premier League player over the last few years. Very good draw bowler. Does he normally play front end in team games? Um, he's kind of been both ends. He, he was um, skippering at his old club, went to Aussie Park, playing like a second, third kind of scenario, and he's decided to take a step back to play lead, just yep. get his draw shot, work on his technique a little bit. Yep. Um, he's got... Ambitions to play for WA. First set to Paul he's, Foster. He's trying Ten hard. To three. Um, he's doing the right things. He won a, a state mixed pairs. Twenty nine and a half meters. Um, he's been deep a couple of times in state pairs and stuff like that. So, no, uh, he's definitely, definitely a pretty, pretty handy bowler. Ooh, someone's caught the eye. <laughs> Cody, I'll get you some scores on the other rinks very shortly. Uh, Jim Duff. Paul is using Henselite Tigers. Which seem to be quite a turny bowl. A turny bowl, yes, yeah, are strong bias bowl, yeah, definitely. Other scores, yep, Nick Brett and Jason Banks both won their first set. Jason Banks is now 4 0 up in the second set against Dylan Jacobs after two ends. Nicky has just started his second set. An interesting one at the moment is Jason Greenslade is trailing at the moment two shots to six against Lloyd Sabatini after six ends. Still the first set that's slightly behind on that one. They're very methodical, those boys. Aye. Well, we'll give them a couple of times, then we go out with a cattle prod. <laughs> I think you just might need to just take a chance here. we will be nibbling up under that backhand. It'll, it'll be a big nibble. we will be playing pretty quick. I think Connor's choice in weight has let him down a little bit. This one's a bit more firmer, so holding its line a bit better. Bit of jack. There we go. A bit more room for the kid. Pass it to the furthest. Oh, it might be in there, you know, with that wing wing bowl. Bit unlucky. Could have got the other side of that bowl and got the jack clean. Could have, could have. <laughs> could have, would have, should have. <laughs> That's the thing with bowls. Sometimes there's the three L's. A bit of line, a bit of length, and a bit of luck.
like a caliber player of Paul, you can't really give him more than two feet. Because uh, I think he's nearly guaranteed to draw that within two feet most days. Going for the measure. Looks like the purple from here. <laughs> this one in. Just uh, yes. I can't see it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Big, biggish measure. Don't forget we have another game coming up for you this evening in the 7 o'clock session and on the streaming rink for 7 o'clock. It's Greg Harlow. He's facing John McCutchinson. He came through the uh, the last chance PBA qualifier okay, yesterday. Right. Those of you watching on the wrong bias podcast there. Yeah, so that one's a bit different. Yeah, it was John played one. quite well last night. I thought he played exceptional. He yeah, played very well. I think they both played exceptional, to be honest with you. I mean, both of these players um, sure. play in a lot of PBA qualifiers, Blake. You know, they're, they're regular attenders, yep. very, very competitive. I, think, I felt sorry in a way for Paul. I've, I've known Paul a long time. One of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. I think it was his fourth final he's lost oh. in, about, in about six weeks. <laughs> really? Yeah, he is. Bit, yeah. Of a, bit of a bridesmaid. Well, I, I said he makes a good bridesmaid, yeah. He just can't quite get out of the line. We put a veil over him. Yep. <laughs> yeah. No, it, was a, it was a good game. Went down to a down to a tiebreaker, which is always, always good for the crowd. Good for the crowd. <laughs> Maybe not good for them, but for, good for us on the sideline. Back length twenty three and a half meters. Set score one zero after one end. I think kind of just needs to nail one early, just to get the confidence back up. Looking general area. Oops. How are you enjoying the bowl so far, Jace? Uh, good. Yeah, it's all been very, very good. Yeah. So. Uh quite like to see different things. I, mean, I love seeing the new players coming through. I like to see different people win. I like to watch the different styles of play as well that uh, various people bring from different parts of the world. I mean, you Aussies always normally bring slightly bit of, bit of, I always think the Aussies bring a little bit of flair, I think. You have a very, very different style of play. It's uh, not just the Aussies, in the, in the Southern Hemisphere, let's say. It's just a very, very different style of play. Whether that's because of the surfaces, like you say, I don't know. Um, but uh, it's great. Yeah, I, I really, really enjoy it. I think things are just changing slightly uh, with, with the two PBA qualifiers getting into that World Singles final last year. Um, that, I thought it was fantastic. Would have been good. Yeah, I thought it was absolutely fantastic. And it'll happen again. I'm sure it will. Just to show that the, the players over here are beatable, but you do have to play some pretty good bowls to get over them. You've got to turn up. Yeah, you've, you've got, got to, to turn up. Got to bring the A game. I think I always say well, in that kind of an event, even though it's like five games you've got to you've got to play it's that it takes that caliber of player where when you're really really struggling it's how you dig deep to win i call it winning ugly you know if you're really struggling how do you get over the line sometimes you really do need to win ugly sometimes you just need to play an un unconventional shot or something that you wouldn't really expect and, and hope it goes your way that's a very good ball from connor let's have a quick look who's who's in let's turn mike's microphone up is he marked up? Yep. And to who though? Run down. Thanks for that. Mike Davies there, uh, he's our head official for this event. He's been with, been with us a long time. He's um, Canada, I think, is that right? Not sure. The markers you have over here are very, very good. They are he very good. Himself last year. Yeah, we're fortunate the WBT to have some, you know, some of the best, if not the best. Um, so much to choose from, you know. We very, very precise. Yes. Um, Comes with experience. Obviously, you've still got to have a good eye. Um, we trial, trial new people uh, every so often uh, to give people a chance.
Rail. Just going to go under. Can he get a very thin edge on that? No. And it's fell out unlucky. By the way he played, I'm presuming he's down. How many? What are those socks? We need to have a word of this play. I thought that's never. A, please tell me that's not a leopard print. That, uh, <laughs> yeah, that is. That is so a leopard print. One green out already. Um, Shoot me now. We, 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 we had a bit of a joke back in the room. Um, I was like, "Do they match your underwear?" And uh, <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> nah, he's a good fella, Connor. He, he's a character. I'm just doing this one because the other one's awkward to get to. <laughs> That's the closest one. So the closest one is this, this one is to the, the left, one. I believe. Thought he was about to measure both reds and forget about the purple. I think he's just seeing which is the closest. Find the closest bowl and then measure the other two. Using the caliper, it's probably the most accurate piece of measuring equipment there is. It's locked in place. Isn't it? In that situation, we'd probably normally go the purple first and then go to the two reds in, in Australia. Would you? So, so you never know, the two reds could beat the purple. That's I think it's because of the, one, yeah? the angle of getting to the bowl, I think. I think the shot's against. I'll just try to find your closest one to reel it out. I love the lovely green shirts they got on. Yeah, the sponsor's shirt. Nice. Yeah, that's uh, Jackie Henderson's company. Mm. This is very close. Right. He's a bit shaky. Oh, Connor's got it. Or is the only one down? Looks like... Let's turn the microphone up. Connor. Connor's got a shot. Yeah. So, this is... Important Jack now. He's, He's going to change the length. Yeah, it's probably got about 31 and a half metres, I reckon. is the, the big scoreboard they have on the back wall. Attack length, 29 metres. Yep. With the West Lothian score, one, one indoor after bowling two clubs. Ends. Yeah, it's, it's Look, quite good. Quite the, nice. Yeah, it's all the, you know, again, thanks to the club for hosting the event, but also thanks to all the, you know, as usual, the, the members, you know, all volunteering. So the big board can be kept up to date for everybody to see what's going on on the outer rinks. Big events don't get run without volunteers. No, it's, that's bowls in general, isn't it? It's on some heroes. That's the one. <laughs> Caught it with the switch of hands. Didn't like the other hand. Oh, it's not far away. Needs to hurry. Fair switch. Nice cheeky little nibble. Kind of might be changing again. Side, no. Oh Look dear. at the weight. She might hold enough for a bit of something. Yeah, one, two. Uh, one out.
in a hurry. Short, isn't it? Oh, sacrilege. Got to reach when you're down. Paul just seems to be nailing it and Connor's just a little bit off. Uh, someone just asked again, yes, Lloyd Sabatini has just managed to win that first set against Jason Greenslade. Track length, 24 metres, set score, 4-1 after three ends. Question there from Glenn. Glad you're enjoying the coverage, Glenn. Asking how many operators we have. Um, just two behind the scenes for us. Uh, all the equipment we use is uh, all done remotely by the two producers in the back office. We lock them away in the kennel for a few days. Let them out every now and again for a bit of a bit of fresh air and a bit of water. But yeah, they operate everything. Sound graphics, angles, great bulb. So just the two, and myself in the greenhouse. Should do a behind the scenes tour maybe on the video for you later just to see what goes on. So a chance here for Connor. That's Paul getting back. It's, it's a shot, but got a, got a chance here. Run the ball off down that forehand. I think he needs to start looking for a few few little options here, he needs to start creating himself, I think, a few a few chances, maybe take a risk. I think he needs to play enough weight if he misses, he gets one of the spots, so then he can go firm with his last. He misses, he's got to stay on. It's pretty good weight. Just gives him that, that other option. Mm. Could go a bit quicker, wing the bowl away, kill the jack for the respot. Could nearly wing the bowl into the other two bowls. Could do. <laughs> he plays Paul, very quick. Paul's got a bit of a decision to make whether he tries to trail it away or he covers. And he's going good enough to probably try to trail it away. Find that little hole. I have a feeling he's not going to short. Might be firmer. I think he might be going a bit quicker. <laughs> Could get a result off here. Oh, oh dear. 
<laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, you're just looking there, he's looking for the red bowler Paul Foster's or the Jack. Could have even got a little bit of a bit of fortune off that front bowl of his own, but holes are for bowls, unfortunately, and he found one. Track length 24 and a half metres, set score 5 1 after four ends. Good start. Well played. Good start, yeah. <laughs> mm, Paul's matched it. And, uh, Paul's gone very well. Nice and solid. Yeah, well done. Good with ball. He's cut those short ones out. I think he's said to himself, got to reach. He'll need to string the next couple ends together to try to get back into it. Hopefully sneak the set to get to a tiebreaker. Sure, who's got shot? <laughs> Coming home light. Get back Paul to, to draw within that pretty easily. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it, it'd be a safe pound, wouldn't it? Well, you'd yeah. think it'd be a safe pound. Oh, you'd just about put your house on it, wouldn't you? <laughs> and see how Paul's nailed his line with every ball. Mm, yes, found the centre of the ring very well. Now, there's a little chance here. Little tickle on the pickle for four. Just a little, little bit of yum yum down the line. I mean, you can even just run off these red balls, can't you? What's this line like? It's not far he away. He needs to run. Has he hurry, got it? Hurry! Good shot. That's what he needs. <laughs> Not bias at all, yeah. <laughs> Jumping off the chair. Come on, Connor. Get in, son. Just needed a smidge more grass, and he could have made, made four. Definitely made the three, yeah. So absolutely fantastic. Needed to get back into it. A little bit of a confident booster. It's got me up and about. Come on, yeah. Connor. <laughs> You're going to get me shot. <laughs> oh dear. Nah, I love them both. <laughs> Paul's a ripper. Connor's a ripper. Good, good fellas. As you said, little tickle of the pickle. Yep. 
<laughs> right, length. Kind of looks perked up a little bit. Score five, four. After five rounds. Quick, quick look at the scores. People are asking for the scores on the board there. So we have Jason Greenslade. He lost that first set um, against Lloyd Sabatini, but he's 2 0 up after two ends in the second set. Nick Brett, he won the first set against Scotty Mazzoni from the USA. And he is. Let's um, that right in front of the scoreboard. 8 1 up in the second set. And Jason Banks won his first set against Dylan Jacobs from Canada. And he is 11, 11 3 after 5 up as well. Jason's had a bit of a good little run recent times with the World Bowls. and Yes, I mean, Jason's another one that. Uh, not just Jason, his, his whole family into the PBA qualifiers year after year after year. Such a competitive family, such a nice family. I met Colin nearly four years ago at uh, the at Potters. He's a great fella. It was good to see um, Jason and, is it Carla? Carla Wanks, yep. sister. They came over for the UBC, yep. which was pretty cool. Well, Connor's attacking this as well, down a decent line. Will it get back though? It's not bending much. Here it comes now. Oh, oh. <laughs> not far away. The make a break in. Yes, I mean, Paul will cover these uh, purple balls at the back. Oh, he might try to tuck it away. Yeah. Back himself to draw with his last. Playing your shot. It looks like a pretty decent target where if you can trail it away, then it makes him think. It's a fair crack. I'd leave the shot for Connor. I'd go again myself. The best result is a slight touch off the front red ball to get that best angle right back on the jack there for, for two or three. Any part of it, hopefully you stay around it. Good afternoon, uh, Lauren, out in America. Well, oh, needs, needs to bend. To... Oh. Costly end. Must be a bit warm out there. The boys are uh, glistening. It's, it's very warm. Very warm. <laughs> yep, full house from Paul. Jason Banks is off the green. He has uh, beaten Dylan Jacobs from Canada. Hello, Lauren Dion from uh, from California. How you going, buddy? Is that just? I think it's only just, just be close. I can say it's the, the mat. Oh. Oh, see where the mat is. Mat's on the tee. Mat's on the tee, about two feet. Okay. This is close. I think this is close. Oh, umpire. Get the tape measure out. Yeah, they're just going to have a look at this for those new people to the sport on online here. The jack will have to be 23 meters uh, from the front edge of the mat. I'd uh, I'd face uh, Brett Lee from that distance. I think it's long enough. Yep. Okay. So it's very very close either way. So there we go. Let's have a look. Whoa. He's trying to find it. Looking for the 23 meter. Just get it nice and straight. Okay. Just up. Oh. About three or four inches. You were right. Can call a jack length. Just lucky. Dear me. You say it's in every time. You're bound to get one. 
<laughs> You're unbelievable. <laughs> oh, you love it, Jace. <laughs> so Paul's just waiting for people just to settle down. There's a few people coming in. Oh, Connor's just gone for a bathroom break, actually. So let's have a look at what's coming up for you this evening. Well, we have one more game for you at 7 o'clock. It's going to be England's Greg Harlow taking on Scotland's John McCutcheon. John came through the Last Chance Saloon qualifier here at West Lothian um, yesterday. Feels like a week ago. <laughs> so back with you. This uh, important end for Connor really needs to win. I'd probably say the remaining three ends, all three of them, I'd say. Connor will be trying hard just to try to make make it look good. Hopefully, sneak maybe a one shot win. We'll have to play three rip roaring ends to, to to get it. Oh. Hello to Lawrence Kelly from the Mount Lawley Bowling Club and the, all the boys that watch the Melbourne Cup today. They're still up. What's it? One o'clock there must in Australia? Be, must be, yeah, one o'clock, yeah. We're in for a good sesh. It's good to see the WA fellas up and about watching the, watching the stream. We're uh, pretty good at supporting our own. Connor's just asking which is Paul's nearest. Not determining where he wants to place this ball. That area. Needs to ease. I don't have to try at all. Four good balls. Falls over. That's probably the shot. Paul's definitely showing the class here. He's a, a very handy, handy lawn bowler. We're just sneaking through. Hey, Jace, how did the South African quali qualifier go on? Starts at 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock? Yep. Mike O'Connor, 7 o'clock. Scottish time. Scottish time. UK time. UK time. <laughs> Scottish time. It's uh, confused me a little bit over the last couple of days, the, the time difference. Right, this is make or break. We can just land on his own. Pepper that jack out to the left of the screen, maybe for a pair. I don't think one will be enough, but let's see. What's he got in his arsenal here? Is he playing that little tacking shot? No, it looks like he's just trying to draw it. Just looking for the tippy tappy. Just, just going to hold by, I think. Just going to get back or Two. not? Is he coming back? Needs Lay to down. fall in. Oh. Please don't tell him. Oh, yep. he's got it. Come on, well come on Back length, 28 metres, set score 9-6 after 7 ends.
And Connor Condren the last couple of ends. Well, he needs to find something. I think you'd need a two here to have a sniff. Yeah, I tend to agree with you. I think chasing a three is probably not on the cards the way Paul's going. It's just been a little bit too crisp. One's in the area. You get down to the jack. Good start. Good start to get to him. Well, yeah. He's just got to keep putting him in the area. Just hope something comes of it. Yeah. Yeah. I hope you put enough pressure on and hopefully a crack or two shows and you, you sneak a couple of twos to sneak a tiebreaker and, and give yourself a chance. Uh, you have that, Luke. This, this could be the crack. Well, if he can drag that jack towards his nearest bowl, is that's almost a three. I think he's just going to try to draw a shot. Inside the last, kind of covers the little trail. And, uh, and hope. Live on a hope and a prayer. <laughs> Needs to miss the front. Needs to miss it. Probably just lacking a pound. I could stop the little trail. Right. It wouldn't be half surprised if Paul might have a little nibble at the bowl here. Just rip it out for two. Reckon the draw. Well, if this gets back, it's just not going to get back in time, is it? No, it's not. So it's kept alive. Full house needed on this final end of this set for a tie break. Nicky Brett is now off the green and he's beaten Scotty Malzoni from the United States of America. 2-0. The other game that's still in play, Lloyd Sabatini against Jason Greenslade. Uh, Lloyd Sabatini won the first set and Jason Greenslade is six shots to one ahead in the second set after five ends. So that could be uh, some time before that one finishes. Could be a long, methodical game. Jack length, 26 and a half metres. Set score, nine, seven after eight ends. Again, they're in that area, aren't they? Just need to just keep. It's hard when you need a full house because your brain says, "Don't be short, don't be short, don't be short." And sometimes it's easy just to launch one. Yeah, it's 
it was crucial to get a get a two last end to give yourself a, 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 a chance. <laughs> Paul's been relentless. Been so nailing nice. his line most times and just within three or four or five inches most times. Getting harder. There is a little chance. Depends where Paul ends up. If Paul doesn't put one close, there is a chance the short one through the shot bowl, and hopefully they both go for three, run through for four. But is, that, is, is that with a pen or? No, no, no. It looks pretty good from here. That short one, you get that in the belly, you edge the shot ball. But if Paul draws another one, it makes it pretty hard. I'm pretty good at conjuring stuff out of nothing, Jase. Um, well, I'm, I'm definitely listening to that, yeah. Does have a chance here. <laughs> Hopefully he's saying what I'm saying. Ooh, hello. Yeah. Hello. I hope he gets it, Jace. I hope it yeah, it depends if he plays it with the leopard skin or whether he plays it with the other one. I'm not sure what the other one is. If he gets this, I might turn my microphone down. I might jump through the roof <laughs> if he gets I mean. it. Yeah, it is there, like you said, nice and solid. Give yourself a chance to hopefully get it out, run through, get it onto the other one, and then you ask the question. Needs a three, and the dust settles. Nope. Doesn't like it. Just winged it wide, oh, yeah. He knew as soon as he let go of that, he just pushed that wide, yep. So it's going to be another single to Paul Foster, and the world number one. Pushes his way through to the second round of this Scottish International Open. Thanks for joining me, Blake. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Jason. No I really enjoyed it. Good luck in your game uh, this evening. Thanks, Mark. So, talk about this evening. Let's have a look at what we have for you for the rest of today. Well, it's just the evening game at 7 o'clock. Greg Harlow against John McCutcheson. There's one more game on the green still, which is the Jason Greenslade uh, Lloyd Sabatini game. Uh, the results will be posted on our Facebook page very, very shortly. But until tonight, it's goodbye from Scotland. Bye-bye.